What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronic. So I'm gonna be talking about if the Sony Xperia 10 Plus is worth buying. All right, so I've been using this phone for the last few days. I've been watching a lot of Netflix with it. I've been doing some gaming. I'm gonna do a little bit more of that here, but I wanna cover the specs first. You can also check out our full review link in the description. All right, so this phone's got a 6.5 inch LCD display. You can see that it's pretty long, uh, but when it comes to watching video on it, it actually looks really good, which we will see shortly. Uh, the processor is a Snapdragon 636, which is pretty much what you can expect on a mid range phone. Right now this phone sells for about $430, so it's got a nice budget friendly price tag on it. It's got a 12 megapixel uh, back camera, 8 megapixels on the uh, selfie camera on the front, which is pretty pretty good, and then of course it's got a non-removable 3000 mAh battery. Now let's take a look at the back real quick. So this phone is polycarbonate, it's got metallic in it, um, it's going to take drops really well. So if you're super clumsy, this might be the phone for you because it doesn't have like a, a glass backing like a lot of the newer uh, phones do. And um, yeah, so I mean, it take drops well. I think it looks fine. You got the camera up here and uh, you got the Sony branding with the Xperia on the bottom. I think it looks pretty slick. Now, like I said, um, you know, watching video on this phone is really good. So let's throw up some Netflix. I gotta make sure I'm connected here to the internet. Let's just double check that. All right, we're good to go. All right, so let's throw up some Netflix here and uh, we'll also get into some gaming. Now I'm gonna have the phone on the loudest volume setting. So you're gonna be hearing it at its loudest. Now let's throw up, uh, I don't even know what we're going to throw up, let's just kind of scroll down here. Had Lord of War on earlier. Alright, let's throw up the Black Panther. Uh, Alright, so you can see that, honestly, like, you get the whole screen on here. I think it looks really good for watching video. I mean, it, it does look pretty slick, even though this is LCD, I do like the extra, you know, the longness of uh, watching Netflix with this phone. And like I said, I've been watching a lot of Netflix with it, that's what I've been doing with it mainly. I have got some gaming in on it, but, you know, watching movies and TV shows on it is just really good. You've never been to China. You should have just come to the first challenge and gotten it over with. Pretty cool fight scene here. Alright, so I'm gonna get out of Netflix, but you know, like I said, when it comes to uh, a phone for Netflix, I think this one uh, is a pretty good choice. Now, gaming, I'm gonna throw up Left to Survive. Like I said, the volume is gonna be blasted on here, so this is gonna be the loudest the phone gets, and uh, you know, obviously, one of my favorite, you know, zombie shooting games right now. The problem with some of these games is it's not going to give you the full screen, uh, and this is a newer game, so you are going to be looking at having a cutoff edge on a lot of games. Really nothing you can do about it. There's no way to change it in the settings. I was trying to do that, but even with that said, it's not the end of the world. Oh, that was nice. All right, I'm gonna take it back to the home screen again. All right, so, uh, you know, do I think that this phone is worth buying? That is the question. Uh, I think the price point on it's pretty much perfect. I wouldn't spend too much on this phone, probably right around $400. I do like the screen, um, even though it's a little bit awkward, a little bit long. Uh, you know, watching video on it is really good. Like, I, like when I had Netflix up, you could see the uh, full screen looks really good. It's not gonna have every game in the full screen though when you're playing, which is kind of a downside. Camera on it's decent, you know, 12 megapixels, 8 megapixels on the front, really can't complain. I like the design of the phone, especially the back. So if you're clumsy and you drop this thing, it's not gonna, you know, uh, it's gonna take a drop really well, which is, you know, kind of important for just about anybody out there. Um, I do recommend changing the wallpaper on this phone immediately. I've left it, it looks really bad. I don't even know why this is a stock wallpaper, but anyways, um, you know, if you're looking for a nice mid-range phone, this would be a good option, especially if you watch like a lot of video uh, throughout the day. I think this would probably be the best Netflix phone right now. Uh, anyways, mid-range Netflix phone, let me uh, rephrase that. Uh, all right, I'll have a uh, full uh, review link in the description if you wanna learn more about it. Um, you know, Please hit the like and share. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see y'all later.